So we have a sphere, a big sphere, inside which we have a small sphere, mass m and r, this fellow has mass 4m and 6r, and this thing is right now has located at L, zero. So if I drop this, it's gonna roll like this, and there are no friction and everything. Gonna roll this way, and it's gonna go like this. There's no friction, this is kept on some table or something, okay? So as this thing rolls and goes down, I'm pretty sure you can understand this whole thing, whole setup has to go forward because the center of mass should remain pretty much the same location, right? There are no external forces. So as this thing goes back, the whole system should go a little bit forward. And so the question is, what's going to be the new, new position of the center of the big sphere? So it's going to go forward, so what's going to be the new position? The current position is L, zero, all right? Let's do it. I'm going to use brute force technique to do this. I mean, I'm not going to think much. I'm just going to use brute force. The brute force would be substituting numbers for formula. Just plug in numbers. So let me make a quick drawing for this. Let me draw it over here. This is L, 0. And you have a tiny, and this is 4M, 6R. And you have a tiny sphere inside of that that tiny guy over here is m comma r oh gosh so i'm gonna write m comma r okay and we know that yeah that's all that's pretty much we know so i'm going to use brute force technique to solve this problem and brute force technique means just substitute that's don't think to it. substitute so I'm going to first calculate what the center of mass right now is. The center of mass will be somewhere over here. So let's do that. Center of mass calculation will be total mass, which is 5m, into the position of the center of mass, should be equal to mass of this guy, 4m, into its position, L, plus this guy, which is m, into its position. Now let's see. From here to here is 6r. This distance is 6R. And therefore this is 4R, this is 5R. So the center is at a distance of 5R from this center. I hope you can understand that. Let's draw it over here. This distance is 5R. Therefore, since this is already at L, this is going to be L plus 5R. So L plus Okay, so 5m times position of center of mass of 4 is 4ml plus ml plus 5r that gives you 5ml plus 5r. 5 5 cancels, so xc turns out, and there's an m here, m cancels as well, so xc turns out to be um, just let's see, 5 5 cancels, l plus r. That's the current location of the center of mass. Okay, so it's gonna now roll and end up coming over here. This is going to be the new position of this guy. And the whole thing would have shifted. I really don't know where it is right now. So I'm just gonna call it as x comma zero. I don't know where it is. So, again, let's calculate what the center of mass is going to be. This is afterwards. But I know the center of mass is going to remain the same. I just don't know where this guy is, but the center of mass cannot have changed. Therefore, total mass into the position of the center of mass, that must remain the same, must be equal to 4m times new location, which is x, which I have no clue, which we have to calculate by the way, plus the small guy multiplied by, now this is Try to figure this out. This is this is the only thing you have to do. Look again, this whole thing from here to here is 5R. Now this fellow is before before x. So it's it's, it's x minus 5R. I hope you can see that. So it's x minus 5R. We solve this for x and we will know what the new location of the center of mass of this guy is. So let's quickly do that. 5m times L plus R 
equal to 4mx plus mx minus 5mr. So 5ml plus 5mr equal to 5mx minus 5mr. The phi cancels everywhere. The m cancels everywhere. I must get this now. So you have L plus R equal to X minus R. That gives me X equal to L plus 2R. That's the new location of the center of mass of the big sphere. See you next time.